I, I'm down at the Tanglewood Clubhouse right now with my daughter. And we're going to do a little bit of meditation. Uh, today has been a rough day here in Davis County. We've had a really bad fire. It's still going, not contained. Um, so a lot of people being evacuated. And um, so I, I definitely want to keep them in my thoughts this I've been having them in my thoughts all day, but continue, especially throughout this meditation. I want to introduce myself uh, as a massage therapist. I've been doing it for 16 years, and um, I love to lead meditation because I know the benefits of um, calming your mind and lowering your heart rate and breathing so that we can observe this life that we're living every day through love and joy. Uh, so every Tuesday and Thursday, I teach this class here in my neighborhood in Layton at 3.30, from 3.30 to 4.30. And um, it's, a bright, it's just a guided breathing meditation and um, a few stretches if, you know, if anyone's feeling a little... Um, tight or stiff anywhere we definitely want to take care of you I do Thai massage so I love incorporating a little bit of massage into the, the um, session as well I also offer monthly medit or workshops at the uh, vibe, at Vibes um, Mind Body Spirit in Ogden I have a workshop coming up this week on Friday it's from 6 to 8.30 um, another one in uh, three more, one in October, November, and December um, on the, f the first Thursday of each month. And I'm also putting together an awesome series in January. It's going to be called um, Winter Blues Series. So it's going to be every Thursday in January to, so we can get together and help us get through the cold uh, month of January. I know how hard it is to have something to look forward to. It just feels every day feels like a mundane, um, rough. It's just hard to get through those cold winter days here in Utah. So come and join me in January. Uh, the series costs one hundred and fifty dollars for all four, all four days. So um, love to have you be a part of that. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, I'm going to start with a breathing technique now i'm going to guide you through one time so my daughter kayla she's going to i'm going to guide her through once we're going to go through four cycles of breath actually so i'm going to guide you through four cycles and then we'll go through four more cycles together and the important part of this breathing technique is the counting so the ratio of counting so we're so start with your tongue, uh, a yoga tongue. So the tip of your tongue resting at the top of your mouth, right where the um, skin touches your, the front of your teeth. So the tip of your tongue there, just resting, relaxing, with your lips open slightly, like this. So when you take a deep breath in, first of all, exhale all your breath. Then inhale for four counts through your nose. Hold your breath for seven counts, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and exhale slowly, keeping your tongue at the top of your mouth for eight counts. And so um, just to keep in mind how the breath works when you breathe out is actually, you're, in order to keep your tongue connected, at the top of your root, the roof of your mouth, your lips need to come open and you're gonna make a, kind of a, a loud noise as you exhale. So it's gonna sound like this. So I'll count one, four counts in, hold for seven and exhale for eight. So this, I'll demonstrate how that looks. So 
So be careful when you exhale that you don't exhale all the breath at the top of the breath. So just evenly exhale so that you don't you have some breath at the end. And you can you can um, change the how quick the pace is. You, if you need to do um, to exhale or inhale sooner than I count, then go ahead. It, it, with practice, you can uh, learn how to um, slow your breath down and hold your breath and exhale slowly. So I'm going to guide you through it four times. So Kayla, go ahead and um, touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth, right, 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 right behind your teeth. Take an uh, go, go ahead and exhale all the way out with your mouth. Then inhale for four counts. Hold for seven counts. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and exhale. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Inhale. Two, three, four. Hold. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale. Two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Inhale, two, three, four. Hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Exhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so let's go through the um, the whole exercise again. Four, four cycles. I'm not going to count this time, so I'm going to do it with you. But you can hear as I listen as I inhale and listen as I exhale, and you can kind of tell where I'm at. And you can do this with your eyes shut or open, doesn't matter. Okay. Let's go ahead and begin by exhaling all the way out. (sighs) Inhale. Exhale for eight counts. One more time. Inhale, four counts. Hold for seven. And exhale for eight. Now just go ahead and go back to your regular breathing and notice how your body feels. You feel more relaxed? Yeah. Yeah. You can feel it throughout your whole body. If you feel a little bit lightheaded, that's normal. With continued practice, practice you can, uh, that will go away and you'll deepen your um, meditation practice and relaxation. This technique is actually really good for anxiety. Um, This technique is also good for anyone who is struggling with um, with um, addiction with food or cigarettes. You can if you have a a craving you can sit down and do this this like a minute and a half or two minutes uh, to curb your craving. really good for a situation if you're in the car and and somebody just triggers you and you get upset about something or somebody something somebody says that you need to take a little breather you know i literally take a breather and do this exercise it's really good for you so very good for anxiety one last thing before i let you go here's my crystal singing bowl which we all love don't we so go ahead and, and, and um, listen to the vibration of the singing bowl. And let's think about the people at you went in you went to Weber County. And let's also imagine the wind is calm. There is absolutely no wind in the area. So the 
fire has nowhere, it doesn't grow, it's not expanding, it's just stifled and stops in its tracks with a bubble of light surrounding the fire, surrounding the mountain, the Weber Mountain. And this bubble of light protects every person in the area, brings them peace, and knowing that they will be okay, that everything will be okay, that they will be taken care of. Thank you for watching today. I will see you soon.